Okay, well, the concept for today will be envelopes. Um, not the kind that you mail, but the kind you modulate with. Um, and generally when you hit a key on a keyboard, you have a, a fast rise time and a slow decay. And so that's what we want our waveform to look like, we want a fast rise time and a slow decay. So how do we generate a non-symmetric waveform? And um, so let me show you the simple concept here. So this is the circuit that's generating that waveform. We have a, a zero to a two volt uh, rising pulse. And when it's going in the up direction, this diode conducts and we're charging a capacitor with 75K. And when it goes back down to zero volts, then uh, we need to discharge the capacitor through this capacitor and it's going through a 430K. So we have a different amount of current in the positive direction and the negative direction. We're charging it faster and we're discharging it slower. Okay, so this is the, uh, the out over here. So that's uh, the circuit that I have right here and, and what, we've seen on the, uh, what we've seen on the oscilloscope. Um, so that's fine and dandy. Uh, we can do a couple things with this circuit. Um, one is that we could have a triggerable one shot. So when we press a key, we could have uh, this event happen on a rising edge, have an event happen on a negative edge. Uh, we can combine those things. So um, ideally what I would like is I would like a waveform that looked like this. So I have a little bit of extra oomph when I press the key. It'll give us a little, a little bit of volume here. So uh, these waveforms that I'm generating will go into the voltage controlled amplifier. So the oscillator will be running all the time and this will basically gate the oscillator. This is the, the uh, volume of the oscillator. When you press a key, uh, you want that volume to be a little bit spiked and then you want to, as you hold down the key, you want to have it sustained. And then when you let up on the key, so the signal for the key is going to be like this. Uh, it'll come over to a about here. So if this is the signal of the key press, this is the resulting waveform. We have a, uh, a little spike here and then we have a decay here. So right now what we're generating is, is, is something that looks like this. We're going up and, uh, and then down. We'd like to be able to put in a circuit here where we would be able to adjust this thing. We can adjust it for what we've got now. And uh, a lot of times in synthesizers, you press the key and, and it kind of swells up, right? So you, so you have some type of longer delay turning on. Um, so that's a nice effect too. Uh, but I'd like to be able to put this in as well. Now the trick with this is though, let's say if this is, a, if this is two volts and this is zero, we kind of want this to go up to maybe uh, two and a half volts, right? Two and a half volts. And so maybe in this circuit here, I'm just thinking out loud now, uh, we would have another section here. Maybe this is a 5K. We want to charge it really, really quick. And maybe this goes up here to uh, somehow this is a bigger voltage. Uh, this signal here is 0 to uh, zero to 2.5, right? So maybe these two, these two steps here come from a, uh, a resistive divider, right? We're, we're finding two different voltages and, and putting them through. These might need to be buffered and, so, and, and things like that. But I think, I think this is basically what I need to be working on is developing, uh, developing these, uh, these waveforms. And uh, I'm gonna be looking at some of the circuits that I've found online and seeing how certain people do this. Now there's two different there's two different envelopes that are used in synthesizers. One is to, one is to, uh, is to run the voltage controlled oscillator. And the other is to run the voltage control filter, which is still a big mystery to me right now. Um, and uh, it had a different envelope, I believe. And, and using those two envelopes separately uh, gives you really, really strange effects in the, in the, in the sound. Um, so.
Anyway, uh, I need to work out what values I need. Usually what you have then is you have these uh, uh, on the front panel. You'll have a, uh, a series of knobs, right? You'll have these knobs. One is called attack. One is called de decay. Okay, attack and decay. So attack is going to basically be this potentiometer. We're going to vary this potentiometer. That'll be the attack one. That's the rising one. The decay will be this potentiometer, so you can ad adjust the decay. And the other one might be, um, I don't know what it's called, maybe, maybe, maybe it's attack, decay, and sustain, or something like that. Anyway, three different knobs for these three different things. And where I was thinking another way to solve this problem is to generate two different waveforms. Generate this little waveform, which we just sort of did. This is the zero to half a volt one, a little peak. And then the one that, this is the one that we've just done. So the zero to two, so we're not gonna modify this one at all, but we're gonna generate this other little ex other one here. And then basically we'll add these two together, right? So this will ride on top of this one. We'll add these together and we'll get something like this. So. I think that's probably the way, the easiest way to do it, because then we can just uh, we can just sum them with a re we can just sum them with a resistor, and uh, that's our addition. So I think that's the way to go. We'll have uh, we'll have this one and this one, and so this one we can ha we can vary. We can basically drop it to nothing, and then we're just left with this one, or we can increase this one and change its width and stuff, and uh, add that on top of the uh, on top of the other one that'll give us this little that'll give us this little bump so I think that's that's the way to do uh, way to, way to go and I'll be thinking about uh, designing a circuit around that